Corrosion is one of the most critical challenges facing the oil and gas industry today. Globally, the cost of corrosion-related failures in this sector runs into billions of dollars annually, leading to equipment damage, production losses, and environmental risks. In fact, the global cost of corrosion control across all industries is estimated to exceed 2.5 trillion US dollars, with oil and gas accounting for a significant portion. Effective corrosion management is not just about cost savings, it's essential for safety, reliability, and sustainable operations. Understanding and controlling corrosion helps prevent catastrophic failures, protects the environment, and ensures the long-term profitability of oil and gas assets. Corrosion is a natural process that gradually destroys metals through chemical or electrochemical reactions with their environment. In oil and gas operations, Corrosion often starts when metal surfaces come into contact with water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, or other corrosive agents found in production fluids. The most common form is electrochemical corrosion. Here's how it works. Metal atoms on the surface lose electrons and become metal ions. This creates two key areas, the anode, where metal is lost, and the cathode, where the electrons go. When these electrons flow through the metal and react with substances like water or oxygen, corrosion occurs. Over time, this weakens pipelines, tanks, and equipment, leading to leaks, failures, and safety risks. Factors like temperature, pressure, salinity, and flow conditions can speed up this process, making corrosion even more aggressive in oil and gas environments. Understanding how corrosion starts and spreads is the first step toward preventing it. To sum up, corrosion is a serious and costly challenge in the oil and gas industry. We started by looking at the financial impact, including billions lost every year due to failures and the massive global cost of corrosion control. Then we explained how corrosion happens mainly through electrochemical reactions between metals and their environment. Finally, we explored the main types of corrosion, such as pitting, crevice, galvanic, MIC, and stress corrosion cracking, each with its own risks and characteristics. By understanding the corrosion process and its types, we can take better steps toward prevention, safety, and more efficient operations in oil and gas facilities. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part of the series.